Oseo from the United States Mission in Geneva, Switzerland. First, let me say how deeply appreciative I am of this great honor uh, from the Cherokee Nation. Particular thanks goes to Principal Chief Bill John Baker, the Deputy Chief, and the entire Cherokee Nation. I'd also like to say thank you to the Tribal Council and to the Chief for its stalwart support of me throughout the confirmation process. When I think of human rights, it reminds me of what Eleanor Roosevelt said, that human rights begin at home, in small places, in your communities. And that's certainly been the case for me. When I think of human rights, I reflect back on our history, the history of the Cherokee people, uh, the difficult times, uh, uh, things in times in which we were de deprived of our uh, basic human rights. Uh, I also think about the extraordinary progress that we've made as a people and the extraordinary progress I think Indian country has made writ large. Uh, it's due to the fact that, uh, uh, one, uh, we have persevered uh, and we have uh, uh, conquered those challenges. And every day I see progress being made uh, economically, politically, culturally, and in so many other ways. And I take that with me here to Geneva when I am at the U United Nations. When I see the human rights conditions and atrocities for other people, I can't help but think of our own experience. When I think of their overcoming those challenges, again, I can't help but think of our experience. Uh, the difficult times, but the times in which we have made fundamental change. So when we see abuses in Syria or in North Korea or challenges faced by the people of Sudan in Darfur, uh, it reminds me of challenges that we faced. It reminds me of all those things that our ancestors did to overcome those challenges. I, one of the issues that uh, is a priority for me is all the issues regarding uh, the rights of women, because what we know is that when we protect our women uh, from violence, when we ensure gender equity, uh, when we ensure access to capital and education for girls, nations do better. They do better politically, socially, and culturally, and certainly economically. Uh, so that is one of my focus, and of course that includes indigenous peoples, and you may know that in the June session I made a statement regarding the scourge of violence against indigenous women around the world. And certainly, the United States has taken some steps, some important steps, uh, through the Violence Against Women Act reauthorization, uh, but there are, is additional work ahead, both for Indian country and for our country and for all the states around the world. Uh, it's a great honor to serve our nation because, in my estimation, one of the great things about the United States of America is not that we always get it right, but we always try to perfect our union. And in that is a lesson that I think we can send to the rest of the world. It's a constant call to do better. It's a constant call to uh, uh, protect human rights, uh, protect fundamental freedoms. Let me just close by saying that I am so humbled and pleased with the honor that you have bestowed on me, and I will work every day to earn your pride that you've placed in me. Wado. And I will see you all soon.